Good morning everyone. Today we are going to start with the problems for the single entry system. So before I start with a problem of single entry system, once again we will just refresh the definition of single entry system. Single entry system is a system of recording the uh, it is single entry system is not at all a system of recording the transactions of a business according to a principles of double entry system it is unscientific and unsystematic way of recording the transactions this type of a system will be followed by those business organizations which doesn't maintain their books of accounts under double entry system like small business houses or small organizations like sole proprietor or the organizations which are not registered will follow the single entry system so under the single entry system we are going to find out the profit or loss made by a business by using a small technique like we'll start with we'll start with capital at the end of the year for that we will add drawings made during the year drawings means any personal payments of the proprietor will be called as drawings it may be in the form of cash or it may be in the form of goods it should be added to the capital at the end then less additional or fresh capital introduced any further capital if a proprietor is introducing in the business we are supposed to deduct the resultant figure we are going to call it as a net adjusted capital from that we are supposed to deduct capital at the beginning of the year then the resultant figure will be called as net profit or net loss for example this is the problem we are going to start the problem with for example we are taking capital our financial year we are taking it as a mark april to march we are starting on 1st of april and we are ending on 31st of march so they have given some information like this to you and they are asking you to find out the profit under from the above information so first we will understand what is given in the problem and what is this problem capital as on 1/4/2010 35000 capital as on 31st march 2011 45000 drawings during the year 7500 capital introduced during the year 2000 you are required to find out profit or loss from the above so in this problem they have given capital on 1st april and capital on 31st of march they also gave you drawings made and capital introduced they are not specified what method you have to follow for calculating the profit or loss since the capital at the beginning and ending i said here it is we are following a financial year yeah, april to march so the capital in the april month is given as well as in the march month is given so we have to understood we have to solve this problem or we have to find out the profit from the above information in single entry manner so our problem will be solved like this calculation of profit and loss profit or loss under single entry system okay so we are solving the problem under single entry system because capital at the beginning is given capital at the end is given drawings is given and additional capital is given and they are asking you to find out the profit or loss so always in such a situation we are supposed to calculate the profit or loss under which method always we will go for the single entry system so we will do the problem like this
capital at the end of the year capital at the end of the year that is on month of march we are having 45000 with us for the capital at the end of the year we will be adding drawings made during the year so what is the drawings given in the problem 7500 when the drawings are given it should be added to the capital at the end so add drawings made during the year drawings made during the year 7500 so we will get 52500 from from this 52500 we are supposed to deduct capital introduced or fresh or additional capital introduced so fresh capital introduced so they gave 2000 as the capital introduced in the business we will deduct that from this one you will get 50500 this is called as additional capital uh, net adjusted capital this is called as what net adjusted capital from this amount you are supposed to deduct the capital at the beginning of the year the capital at the beginning of the year is 35000 that is on 1st april 2010 because already have taken capital at the end of the year that is on 31st march 2011 as a 45000 now you have to deduct 35000 which is the capital at the beginning of the year so less capital at the beginning of the year Thirty-five thousand. So now we have to identify whether we got the profit or loss. The result after completing the problem should be either profit or either loss. So how you will tell it is a profit or loss? If your net adjusted capital is more than the capital at the beginning, then you will get profit twenty thousand five hundred. Your capital at the beginning is less than net adjusted capital, so the resultant figure will be called as net profit. Follow. So your net adjusted capital is more than the capital at the beginning. Then we'll call that as net profit. If your net adjusted capital is less than the Capital at the beginning, then the result will go in minus or negative. Then we'll call that as a net loss. Okay, right. We will do one more problem of the same method. Capital on one four. Two thousand nine eighty thousand capital on thirty first March two thousand ten ninety thousand. Then capital interest drawings made during the year five thousand. Capital introduced during the year will take fifteen thousand. Okay. we are trying to solve one more problem to understand the concept very clear now in the second problem again we are having the dates given as april and march that is capital at the 14 2009 
and capital as of 31st March 2010. So we will call this as a capital at the beginning and we will call this as a capital at the end. Drawings is given, capital introduced is also given for us. And they are again asking us to find out what is the profit or loss made from the amount. So a similar type of a problem we are trying to solve once again and we will try to understand. So, now capital at the end of the year, again we have dates given in the problem. So when the dates are given specifically in the problem, if it is a financial year, financial year means it will be starting April ending on March. So we are starting on 1st April, we are having a capital of 80,000. On 31st of March 2010, we are having a capital of 90,000. So what is the capital on 31st of March will be taken as a capital at the end of the year. So the capital at the end of the year is 90,000 we will write here. In the problem, if the drawings are given, then the drawings amount should be added to the capital at the end. So what is the drawings given in the problem? So drawings given in the problem is 5000. We will try to add that to this one. So 5000. So 90 plus 5 will give you 95000. The fresh capital introduced. Capital introduced during the year is 15000. So the capital introduced will call that as a fresh capital or additional capital. 15,000 is introduced in the business. So, 15,000 will be minus from 95,000. The resultant figure will call it as a net adjusted capital. So, 5 minus 5, 0, 9 minus 1, 80. Okay, next. Capital at the beginning of the year, we have taken 80,000. So, 80,000 capital at the beginning will minus from the above. So the resultant figure both net adjusted capital and capital at the beginning both are equal. There is no profit, there is no loss. There is no profit or there is no loss. If it is, if a net adjusted capital is more, you will get the profit. If the capital at the beginning is more, you will get the loss. But here, unfortunately, in this problem, both the figures are matching. We are not making any type of profit or any type of loss. So, we have shown you in our calculation or we have shown you the problem how to find out the profit under single entry system. Any problem related to single entry system should be solved under this format only. There is no other alternative format for finding out the profit under single entry system. So in the past two problems, I explained you very clearly how to find out the profit under single entry system. So when data is given to you, when the capital is at the beginning, when the capital at the end, drawings and additional capital given to you, you are supposed to find out a problem of single entry system under this method only. There is no other alternative method for finding the profit. Once again, I am showing one more problem. After showing one problem, you are going to do one problem as in two problems I will give you, which you will do as an assignment, okay, or as a homework. So first, I am going to do, I am going to solve the problem number three for you. You are going to do problem number 4. I will afterwards rewrite the problem number 5 on the board. So, in this problem, capital at the end is given. They have not given the dates. Try to understand the concept. In the earlier problem, they have given you the year. That is calendar year, financial year. Calendar year or financial year. Calendar year means always it will start on 1st of January and ends on 31st of December. But in the past two problems, they have given you the dates related to financial year. Financial year means always it will start from April, ends on March. So when the dates are given, we have to decide which date is the beginning date and which date is the ending date. But when the dates are not given, 
then they will give you compulsorily which is the ending capital and which is your opening capital so with the help of that small hint we will able to solve or we can able to find out what is the profit made by the business now see this problem i try to understand capital at the end of the year 21000 so they are given 21000 as the capital of the business at the end so they themselves telling you in the problem what is the capital at the end of the year so in our calculation we will use capital at the end first item then we will go to capital at the beginning they have given in the problem 7500 so this capital at the beginning we will use in our calculation at the last then we have drawings during the year 6000 so what is the amount which is withdrawn by the owner for personal use we will call it as a drawings so drawings he has taken from the business for the whole year is how much 6000 then capital introduced is 3500 again they are not telling in the problem clearly in which method we have to do but when they don't tell anything and when the capital at the end and beginning is given you have to follow blindly similar in the system for finding the profit or loss okay so now once again i am going to show you how to find out the profit or loss under the single entry system so we will start capital at the end of the year so capital at the end of the year directly they have given by stating end so end means 21000 is the capital at the end of the period or at the end of the year so 21000 we will start here for this 21000 we need to add drawings made during the year so drawings made during the year is given so directly you have to add suppose if they give drawings during the year instead of giving you drawings during the year if they give drawings made per month if they give you drawings made per month then we need to multiply with 12 because they have given the drawings amount only for one month we are supposed to take that for year so you convert that into per annum so here now we don't have such problem because already they gave during the year that means throughout to 12 months the proprietor has taken 6000 rupees from the business so we'll call that as a drawings because it is used for the personal purpose so this 6000 rupees we will add to 21000 so 21000 plus 6000 will give you 27000 from this if any additional or fresh capital introduced we will did it so the fresh capital introduced in the business is 3500 so this 3500 is additional capital we need to subtract from our this result so 3500 you get it 23500 we got the resultant figure after deducting 3500 from your 27000 capital at the end is given in the problem capital at the end anedi manaku problem lo eppudu aina isthadu drawings made during the year problem lo ichina appudu we need to add here and oka vela if it is given in month drawings oka vela nela isthe we need to convert that into per annum then once you add that amount whatever the result manaku ichinadi we will take from that we will reduce fresh capital introduced adananga or extra capital edaithe proprietor business lo introduce chestadu we need to minus that from our additional amount what you got after adding at the last ochina result ni we are going to call or manu net adjusted capital ani pilustam at the last row chesi capital at the beginning so capital at the beginning ante manam oka accounting period start chese mundu edaithe capital business lo available undo 
in the books of accounts we will call that amount as a capital at the beginning so it is given in the problem 7500 so we will try to direct that one and we find out whether we got the profit or loss so 0 30 minus 7 6 16000 So, net adjusted capital equa unte nemo. E amount undi, E amount capital, net adjusted capital equa undi when compared to capital at the beginning. Ochina answer me, we will call it as a net profit. Okay, vela. Capital at the beginning amount equa undi, net adjusted capital amount tapa undi. Then we will call this as a net loss. So, you can try this problem as an assignment. Okay, so how you have liked my class, please give your comments to us. So for today, we are going to conclude our class with this problem. So I am going to give you a little work or assignment. Please try these two problems, how to find out the profit under single entry system. It's a very easy simple to calculate the profit or loss under single entry system apply this format understand the problem what is given what is not given and try to solve the problem according to the single entry system and find out the profit or loss made by the business so we we'll try to close our class for today and further class will continue tomorrow thank you very much